My name is Denny Sargent, and I'm here to introduce myself and to introduce my course. Course one, course two, course three, I see as all parts of one integrated course, the Holy Guardian Angel course. Course one is going to be about touching or connecting with your Holy Guardian Angel. Course two will be about bonding with your Holy Guardian Angel, communicating, learning from, and being able to connect with, on multiple levels, your Holy Guardian Angel. Course three is the pinnacle of the whole sequence of courses, is going to be about knowledge and conversation with the Holy Guardian Angel. Not just what it is, but exactly how to do it. In fact, I give multiple ways you can approach it. Let me explain a little bit about myself. As now that I've given you a very brief view of the, of the courses, I'll come back to them again, but I want to talk about who I am just briefly and then talk about how important each of these courses is and how they are interrelated. My name is Denny Sargent, full name, William Denny Sargent. Everyone knows me as Denny Sargent. I wrote this book quite a while ago. I don't even remember how long ago. It's been at least 20 years since this book was written and it sold very well and many, many, many people uh, were interested in it, uh, liked it, and I've presented numerous times on this topic of the Holy Guardian Angel and how to connect with your Holy Guardian Angel in seminars and in workshops. I am very pleased to be able to convey my information about the Holy Guardian Angel in this online course. Uh, old dog, new tricks. I, I feel very comfortable um, doing this now that I've been teaching university for a long time and have had to do some learning management system work. It never occurred to me to do this with, with the Guardian Angel, but I have been uh, gently nudged by wonderful people and I'm very excited to do this. So, though this book is good, I have changed much of the course because of course 20 years is a long time. Uh, my understanding has changed and it is important that I stay topical and modern with what we're doing. So this is a very good book, but there's much, much more in this course than is in the book. I have been involved in the occult for over 40 years. Any kind of hermetic or occult uh, uh, ideas or orders or lodges you can think of, I have probably been involved. I work still with Golden Dawn people. I work with a number of hermetic groups, some that focus on the PGM, some that do other things. Also, I am a tantric. I have initiation in two different lineages. And I work with witches. I work with pagans. I work with lots of people doing Kabbalistic work. Um, so I'm kind of all over the place in terms of, of magic and in terms of the occult world. One thing I noticed for years and years and years is that almost all of these groups, including Tantra, at a certain point they say, you know, once you've mastered the basics of magic, the basics of, of all these sorts of esoteric things, you have to connect with your Holy Guardian Spirit or your Holy Guardian Angel. In Tantra, it's Holy Guardian Spirit or Adi Guru, your Supreme Guru, which is your Holy Guardian Angel. Why? Because the Holy Guardian Angel is a spark of God that was embedded in you when you were born. It came with you. It is, you can call it, uh, you know, a, a harbinger of your soul, or you could call it whatever you want. But most religions, in, including the religions I've mentioned, believe that you are born with this Holy Guardian Angel. You can visualize it any way you want. Uh, in, in Catholicism, it's, it's a lovely blonde angel uh, who protects you as a child, right? If you've seen some of those pictures. The bottom line is though, this spark of God is within you. And most people go through their whole life and they, they have urges or they have instincts or they have feelings or premonitions. And that's actually their Holy Guardian Angel trying to communicate with them. But most people are so embedded in Malkuth, in the physical world that we live in, 
that they are busy worrying about materialistic things and they're not thinking about spiritual things or, or even that they have this entity within them that can be guiding them every single day. I have to say, since I did all of these things that you're going to learn in these courses and, and did my knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel, my life completely changed. I had uh, someone, a, I had an entity that was part of me that has always guided me ever since I made my final deep and permanent connection with my Holy Guardian Angel. I can't tell you how important that has been. No matter how I've gotten off track in my life, when I've managed to meditate, I meditate every single night and push everything away, all the chaos, whatever horrible things are happening in my life, and just create a clear space and call on my Holy Guardian Angel. My Holy Guardian Angel comes and gives me very clear instructions, advice, uh, uh, hugs, uh, sometimes telling me that I'm wrong or that I've done bad that things and that I should pay attention more. But always, no matter what, like, like my brother, like someone I love my whole life, my angel has always been there to support me and I cannot stress how important that has been in my magical workings. Once you are tuned into your angel, the whole universe starts to shift and then everything starts speaking with you. I cannot explain this but you will experience it and you will see. So let me talk a little bit about myself so you wonder who is this crazy man giving me this conversation, this talk about, about angels and stuff. Well, actually I'm a university teacher. I teach methodology, pedagogy, and linguistics, and I train teachers to teach. So mostly focusing around TESOL and a couple of other things. Uh, a, a fairly a mundane thing, but, I've been a teacher for more than 40 years uh, at different levels and enjoy very much teaching and it is why I'm here. And as my Holy Guardian Angel has told me, this is your path, this is the way you're going to go. And this is the orbit that you're taking in this life. We are all here to do something. We all have a mission, a divine mission to do something in this, in this world, whatever it is. And it is very hard for us to stay on that track, on the, on the track of our true will, of, of what it is we are supposed to do here. And my Holy Guardian Angel has helped me. And every time I veer off, has said, no, you're a teacher, this is what you're supposed to do. And when my autistic son was born, I was, I was devastated, but my Holy Guardian Angel basically said to me, this is part of your path. And now I'm in a situation where I'm actually tutoring autistic kids. So these are things you can never imagine uh, as you enter your life and start to go through it. But your, your angel sees what's coming and knows and helps you. I can't express um, how important that actually is in life and has been in my life. Therefore, I'm very happy to be able to pass this on to you. Course one, course two, course three, I lived, I went through. I did everything that you are going to do and a whole lot of things that simply weren't, weren't correct as I tried to figure out how this worked, how, this knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel. Long ago, I worked with a group in New York called the Grove of the Star and the Snake. All of us were deeply interested in all things occult and hermetic. And we read everything. We read Crowley and Grant and Austin Spare and we read everybody. I mean, we read everything and everybody. And over and over again, we kept getting pinged with this, oh, holy guardian angel, holy guardian angel. We're like, well, what, how do you do this? So of course we got the Abramelin book, which is, is mostly just a mishmash of stuff with a few very important things in it. And then we went through Crowley and the same, like, you know, piles of Crowley and here and there he had bits. Anyway, between us all, we were able to assemble a certain amount of data. And I went further with it because I was fully committed to doing this knowledge and conversation with the holy guardian angel. So what I want, because I'm a university teacher, what I want is I wanted, and I still want, but I'm, I'm now creating it, a curriculum for doing this. That's what you're getting. Course one, course two, course three is a curriculum I've been working on for the last two years of actually taking everything and lining it up so that we can get it in a learning management system for you. 
So as this happened with me personally, though, I would try these things and A, B, and C would work, but D, E, and F did not. And so I kept records, very meticulous records, teacher, right? of what worked, what did not work, what was on the ball, what wasn't. And my angel, as I, as I connected with my angel, of course, started to give me hints and point out things and books would appear and people would hand me things. All kinds of synchronicities would happen that start to guide me like a boat slowly in the right direction. As, as I worked my way through it and up to, up to a point where I really had a good connection with my holy guardian angel, this took quite a while because of course I was, I was going back and forth and, and getting rid of stuff that didn't work. Once I got to that point, I committed fully to doing knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel, which is addressed in the third class very clearly, along with how to work with the shadow, because the two go hand in hand, as you'll find out. So after this happened, I committed to, to, to the knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel, and went through the process. Once I had it all lined up, had it all figured out, I had the curriculum I found in lots of places. I said, okay, I think this is the right way to do it. And so as I worked my way through it, I was like, yes, this is happening. This is snowballing. Things are going well. And there were ups and downs, but I felt closer and closer. And then it had a very sort of dry period. And then this is, then this happened about, about month six, seven, seven, probably around seven. I was with some friends. We had been doing something magical, but it wasn't terribly serious. And, and as we were leaving, I said, oh, wait a second. Let me do my Holy Guardian Angel invocation. I have to do it four times a day. So I did it was very short. And I said, oh, blah, 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 Holy Guardian Angel, la, 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 la. And about, about one minute and all of a sudden, what my friends saw was me freeze. What happened to me was the room went black, completely black. It was terrifying. All of a sudden, I saw a light in the darkness. It got closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until I saw that it was a writhing figure full of incandescent light, blue and white. It was very intense, terrifying. Came right up to me and simply blasted me with pure gnosis, a download that was so intense uh, that I shook and collapsed. Now, my friends, what my friends saw was me do this and just collapse. They picked me up. Luckily, I had people there. They picked me up, threw me on my bed and were worried about me. And after several hours, I came out of it very dizzy, nauseous, my whole brain, my whole body like shaking. And for the next few days, I was writing down every single thing I could think of that came through me page after page, book after book after book, until I was just exhausted. And I finally came down from the experience about three days later. That was the input. That was, that was the download that has stuck with me until this day. Everything I've done, including a number of occult books that I've written, all flowed from that moment. Because once my Holy Guardian Angel grabbed me and downloaded to me, I was set and we have been together ever since. Every night I meditate and every night I push everything away and let my holy guardian angel come and tell me things, whatever I need to hear. And if I have questions, I ask. Sometimes he's a little snarky. Uh, my holy guardian angel is kind of snarky. He's like, oh, really? You think so? He says things like that. Anyway, this has become a center point of my life. No matter what, when I sit and I'm upset or anxiety ridden or terrified or depressed, I'll sit and I'll ask my Holy Guardian Angel, like, what's going on? And my Holy, Holy Guardian Angel will kind of shake me a little bit and say, snap out of it. You have a lot of work to do. You think this is so terrible. It's not going to be so terrible. You should do this. Why don't you read this book? The thing you're looking for is here. Like that. I know this sounds ridiculous, but it's having, it's like having a, a special friend that's always with you, knowing that, that even if I die alone, I'm going to die holding the hand of my Holy Guardian Angel, which is a big deal as you get older, I'm telling you. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself. That's sort of my, that's sort of my general view of why I'm so deeply involved in this. I've been an author for many years. I, I told you I'm a university teacher. If you want to see my books, I have a lot of uh, uh, occult books. I have grimoires. I have, I've been producing a lot of things, thanks to my Holy Guardian Angel. If you're interested in these things, I don't want to go on and on about all the orders that I've been in and all the things I've done, but you can find who I am and what I do by simply looking at my website, 
www.dennysargentauthor.com. You can go there, you can see more than you've ever wanted to know about me. Um, you can also go to Amazon and see my author page if you want. But really, I'm just a person who, through, through hermetic and occult practices, found my way to this, the pinnacle of everything, which is connecting with my holy guardian angel. Because once you're connected, once you are bonded and integrated, and by, by course three, you will be completely integrated and, and hooked in with your holy guardian angel. Once you have that, you're good. Like no matter what happens to you in life, you're going to have someone there to advise you and help you and keep you on your path, your true will, what it is you're supposed to do. This is the most important thing I can say. Now, a couple of things else about the courses. There are five PDFs for each of the courses. Some of them are quite dense. There's a lot of information. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. Uh, that I've amassed over the years about this and about different aspects of it. The sixth uh, PDF for each course has the exercises and the rituals that you will do to connect with your Holy Guardian Angel. So I think it's important to read both of them and work with both of them as you can, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, I will be present on Sunday to receive emails from students and reply to them. So if you have a question or a couple of, of brief, succinct questions, you can send them to me. And on every Friday, I will, at night, I will go through all the questions and I will answer them. And we can go back and forth if you like. So because many of you will be taking the courses at different time, I'm just going to sort of focus on Sunday uh, evening, and that's when I will open up the bucket and read the questions and answer them. So let's see. I don't think I have much else to say. I don't really want to talk much more about myself, but I really want to talk about the Holy Guardian Angel. <laughs> but that's quite enough for an introduction. Welcome to the course. I'm extremely happy you're going to be here. I really feel that uh, this is delivering something to you that will last your whole life if you choose to work through the entire system. And no matter what kind of occult or esoteric uh, path you are on, nothing can possibly go wrong once you are hooked up with your Holy Guardian Spirit or your Holy Guardian Angel. You will always have a guide. Anyway, with much love and much will and much joy to you, I say success in your work. Take care, and it is a delight to offer you this course. Thank you.